Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are 10 key areas have been identified to drive growth and boost job creation in the next six months by the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council. It acknowledged that the country is in the midst of an economic slowdown. Sexual intercourse with a minor wife amounts to rape, the Supreme Court has stated. It struck down the provision of criminal law that permitted sex with a wife aged between 15 and 18. The husband is liable to be prosecuted if the woman files a complaint within a year of the sexual act. A Pakistan court will end the house arrest of 2008 Mumbai terror attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed if the government doesn't submit evidence against him. New Delhi has repeatedly urged Islamabad to punish him for the massacre which killed 166 Indians and foreigners. Two militants who have killed a BSF trooper on September 28 and two IAF commandos have been killed in a fierce gun battle in Jammu and Kashmir's Bandipura district. Four army soldiers were also injured in the fighting in Paribal village of Hajin area. Suspended Trinamool Congress leader Mukul Roy has resigned his Rajya Sabha seat. He cited lack of principle as his compulsion to leave the party of which he was a founding member. The Trinamool in turn accused him of insulting its supremo Mamta Banerjee. India's direct tax collections for April-September rose 15.8% to 3.86 lakh crore rupees, buoyed by a healthy growth in the advanced tax mop-up. The net direct tax collections constitute 39.4% of the total budget estimate of direct taxes at 9. lakh crore rupees for the current fiscal. An official probe into the September 29th stampede in Mumbai was given a clean sheet to Western Railway officials. It instead blamed heavy rain and rumours for the tragedy that killed 23 railway commuters. The Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved the revision of pay scales for about 8 lakh teachers and other academic staff in higher educational institutions. This is under the University Grants Commission and in centrally funded technical institutions. Anupam Kher has been named the chairman of the prestigious Film and Television Institute of India in Pune. He has acted in over 500 movies and is a vocal supporter of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The film industry hailed the move. Cartoonist and MNS President Raj Thakwe on Wednesday paid a unique tribute to Bollywood megastar Amitabh Bachchan on the actor's 75th birthday. He sketched a bouquet of six enduring caricatures of Bachchan, detailing his journey in Indian cinema from a lanky actor in 1970 to the tallest star of Bollywood in 2017. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from America, Gujarat and Punjab follows.